Hello everyone, Matt Thompson with you. Hope your Wednesday is treating you well. Well, Mark Murphy, is he going to play on Friday night against North Melbourne? The Carlton superstar has, of course, had that shoulder injury. He's been on the comeback trail. It was touch and go last week. We've heard he was going to play this week. It all really hinges on a chat with Coach Brett Ratton after training tomorrow. He reckons he's about an 80 to 85% chance of playing. Yeah, shoulder's good. Trained uh, full yesterday. So uh, just got to get through another session tomorrow and then... Um, work out with the Rats and the coaching staff and see if they want me to, uh, to play on Friday night. Had uh, a few uh, tackling practices and a bit of bumping and seemed to pull up all right. Don't know what sort of percentage I'd put on myself at the moment, probably 80, 85%. Murphy joining Lance Franklin and Jack Revolt for some school holiday fun. Buddy with a bit of time on his hands as he nurses his hamstring tear, he'll spend Sunday afternoon with a view from above. Sit in the coach's box on um, Sunday, so it'll be a good experience for myself. and. Um, yeah, it's just about recovery and getting it right and um, hopefully be back running by Saturday. Hoping he'll only miss two matches, but he's again rejected claims he shouldn't have been risked against the Giants. Um, I was 100% going into the game and um, things happen in football and unfortunately um, I got the injury, so yeah, we just move on. While Jack was passing on a few tips to the kids as well, he admits he needs to spend some time himself in front of the sticks after booting a disappointing one goal five against Melbourne. I was actually joking during the week with uh, Cousin Nick that I must have taken his boots to the game instead of my own. Or oh, buddies, yeah. <laughs> the Tigers had to face the Gold Coast in Cairns, looking to make amends for last year's loss to the Suns. Revolt says September is still a realistic aim. I was just saying to Mark before, it's, it's really exciting for, for the football public that, that every team that's fighting for that seventh and eighth spot is, uh, is going to play each other over the, these sort of last eight weeks of the season. We'll come up against North, we come up against Carlton, and we come up against Freo over there. So um, whoever earns that last seventh and eighth spot is, is really going to deserve it because they've beaten the challenges that are there, hoping for those spots as well. The Kangaroos aren't happy with the defence West Coast used in Luke Shuey's tribunal hearing, claiming Lindsay Thomas faked the pain after appearing to be elbowed in the groin. I don't think it's something we do. So at the end of the day, as I said, mate, I mean, we don't um, we don't bring other players from other clubs into any any sort of discussions we have once the, once the game's over. I mean, you know, West Coast beat us on the day and we move on. OK, let's take you now to Sydney. GWS issued a news release saying that they're going to make a special announcement about Kevin Sheedy. Everyone kind of jumped to conclusions thinking it would be about Sheedy's future and maybe even passing the baton on to Mark Williams to become senior coach in 2013. But that wasn't the case at all. They were just saying that their best and fairest medal is actually going to be named the Kevin Sheedy medal. So what about Sheeds and his coaching future? Well, he says that that will be dealt with in due course. That'll um, be negotiated, yes or no, over the next uh, month or two. I'm not worried about that. I've... I've been signing contracts and headbutting people on contracts for 45 years. I let my lawyer do that and then they can go and sit down with Tony and, and uh, argue over where the decimal point is and how many cents are in the dollar. The Crows will head to the Harbour City to face Sheedy's men and Brenton Sanderson has conceded Kurt Tippett is no certainty to make the trip. The club will take a cautious approach with the key forward after two bouts of concussion in the past month. In consultation with the medical uh, department and uh, they certainly sit above me. Um, if they say no, then I can't say yes, uh, and, I, and I, I wouldn't do that. Um, so if the, if the docs say no, um, it's an easy decision. Uh, he won't play. Ironically, Jason Graham is set to play his 150th game against Brisbane, the club that originally drafted him, paying tribute to former Saints coach Grant Thomas for giving him another chance. And I pretty much begged for a one-year contract uh, to Grant Thomas um, in o end of 05. And um, he, he gave me that one year and, you know, that pre-season I did everything I could to, to show that I deserved to be here and um, 06 was probably much my best season, my breakout season I guess. So, um, yeah, if I hadn't have done that, um, I probably wouldn't be sitting here right now. But Graham concedes the end is getting closer. Probably, you know, two years, three years, one year, I don't know. I'm, I'm do, I'll do all I can to keep, um, keep playing, but uh, I suppose when you get to this age, you you see guys retire this sort of at, you know, your 30s, 30 year old, I'm 20 and 28 now, so, um, you know, I'm thinking about you've got maybe two years, three years to go. As Brisbane gears up for the Saints clash, Lions Irish import Pierce Hanley says countryman Tyke Kennelly has unknowingly had a major impact on his stellar form. I used to, when I was first here, I used to always watch Tyke's um, tapes and try and base my game off his. Um, I'm playing a bit of a different role at the moment, but still like to... Uh, um, just run and carry the ball like he did. No, I don't think Gaelic football has helped me at all, to be honest, because you never kick the ball straight. But uh, when I first got here, I 
worked very hard on it. I think I've uh, just kept that going and it's helped me since. And that is the news on this Wednesday. Have a great night, whatever you're up to. And of course, click back soon.